Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is part two of the tutorial I had shared with you last week. Last week I had showed you how to create this beautiful field of flower granny and today I will show you how to create a beautiful pillow with these grannies and with every granny really that you choose to make. Creating a pillow is extremely easy. As usual I will take you slowly but surely through it. I had asked you last week to make 24 grannies and if you did you are ready to create this beautiful pillow with me. So if you are not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for? Don't hesitate it's totally free. Click on the subscribe button right there and hit the little bell so you know every time I post something new come and check me out on my social media. Here is the beautiful pillow that we are going to create together. I love the colors they're so cheerful and I will put all the dimensions of the finished product the dimensions of the pillow you need for this specific one but basically you could arrange your grannies any shape you wanted creating the size you want adding or subtracting any granny you would like all right i also chose to add little curly cues on each side of my pillow because it's a narrow pillow i thought it would really add some little like whimsical touch a little boho style you know how i like that so yes so that i am going to show you how to do too so if you are interested in knowing how to crochet this beautiful pillow Hello, then keep on watching and I will see you next time in the meantime happy crochet Mwah. hope all is well with you and bye all right so as I said before by now you should have 24 granny squares the link to the tutorial for the grannies is right there up on the right corner so you should have 24 grannies in total and what we're going to do is sew 12 together like so in a pattern try to you know the way you want I try not to put two of the same color together so 12 for one side of your pillow and then 12 for the other side of the pillow just like so for granny's length and three granny's width. Here are our two panels, two sides of our pillow. You can either assemble your granny's by sewing or you can just slip stitch as I've shown you many many times in my tutorials. This is the front of your pillow and what you're going to do is place them a wrong side facing each other and the right side facing you and we're going to assemble them together going all around the sides of your 12 grannies put together and um, we are going to single crochet with I chose a white Barocco a comfort DK yarn but you can choose any one you like if you would like to take one of the colors of the grannies the yellow the turquoise of the navy that's fine too I just like the contrast with the white I think it's crisp and fresh and nice all right so you're going to grab your yarn in my case it's my white yarn you're going to take both of the panel and having them right side facing you but we're going to begin with one of the longer sides not the narrow size but one of the long side and matching corner to corner and we're going to pass our crochet hook through the both sides the corner stitch where you had a chain one and we're going to join with our white yarn and chain one leave the end yarn take your new yarn and you're going to single crochet in that same and now what you're going space. to do is going through both of the sides making a single crochet on top of each and every double crochet right there but taking both sides together and you're single crocheting while assembling and that is going to give you a white border that will be crisp and neat and super easy to make here we go make sure to match stitch to stitch All along the side of your pillow until you reach the next corner and then I will show you what to do and let me show you what to do when you switch from one granny to the next you are going to do your last uh, stitch in the chain one space of the corner and then you're going to make a single crochet in that stitch in between the two grannies and go to the next granny and go to the chain one space from the next granny right there
and then you continue to pick up all your stitches the same way until you reach the corner and let me show you what you do once you reach a corner Here you go, you reach the corner, that is going to be your corner right there, which is the chain one space in between the two groups of three double crochet. Here you go, so in that chain one space, you made a single crochet, you're going to make a single crochet, passing your crochet hook through both sides, but then you're going to make two extra single crochets. So each corner will have three single crochets and it will create the corner a 90 degree angle. And you continue for the second side of your pillow doing exactly the same thing, single crocheting on top of each and every stitch and then doing the same thing in between two grannies as we did before. So you're going to go like that around and around making three single crochets in each corner assembling two of the long sides together and one of the shorter side leaving the other short side open so you can comfortably slide your pillow inside just like so and then once the pillow is inside you're going to finish that fourth side closing it the same way we had done with single crochet all along here you go, now your pillow is inside and you're finishing making your uh, last corner. Actually, it's not the last corner because we had began with one single crochet. We're going to have to finish the first corner we had made at the beginning. But here you go, in the corner you make three single crochets and then you're going to continue finishing the last side, assembling it with your single crochets. All right, time for our beautiful little curly cues and I am going to show you how to make them. So I'm going to show you how to make them with the Barocco Comfort Decay that I had used for the border. But then I realized that I wanted something a little more dainty and I took a fingering yarn that is the same color from another brand. I will put all the info in the info box down below. And at the same time, I used a smaller crochet hook. I use a three, 3.5 millimeter crochet hook as opposed to a four millimeter for the rest of the work. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to show it to you with the Comfort DK because it's thicker and it's easier. But then after that, I will continue with the fingering yarn. So you're going to chain 24. You are going to skip the first three chains and in the fourth chain from your hook, you are going to make three double crochets. Those three chains that you skipped will count as a first double crochet. So in that same chain space, make three double crochets. And then you're going to go to the next chain and you're going to in the next chain make four double crochets. And repeat for the next chain, four double crochets in the next chain. And this is what you're going to do all along that chain until you reach your border, until you reach your pillow. And it will, I know it doesn't look like much right now, but it will form a corkscrew, I promise you. If you continue to do those four double crochets in each chain, make sure not to twist your chain, always having the right side of the chain facing you. And look, see, I told you, look how cute, a little curly cue. <laughs> Love it, looks like a little flower. See how easy it is? Only chain and double crochet and look at this cutie. 
And this is what it's going to look like when you are done making those four double crochets in each chain. And then when you reach the last chain you had made, which is really close to your border, you are just going to single crochet in the next stitch. And then in the next stitch again. And in the next, so that's three single crochets. Four single crochets and five single crochets. And then you're going to chain 24 again. So there are going to be four single crochets in between each of your corkscrews. And you're going to repeat exactly what we have done with the first corkscrew. So you're going to do your 24 chains, then you're going to skip the three first chains and make three double crochet in the fourth. One, two, three, and then in the next four double crochets. and make four double crochets in each and every chain until you reach the last chain you had made. And then you're going to make again five single crochet and then repeat chain 24, etc, etc, making corkscrews. I made corkscrews on the narrow sides only. I thought it was too much to do it all around for me, for my taste, but you do you, you do whatever you want now that you know how to make them. But aren't they adorable? I absolutely love them. So make them all along that uh, narrow side of your pillow and then fast enough when you reach the other corner and repeat on the other narrow side of your pillow. And that is it. And that is it my friends. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as I have enjoyed creating it for you. And I'm looking forward to many many more in the meantime. Happy crochet. Love you. Bye. My god cannot talk today <laughs> I would <coughs> adding or subscribe ah. so and also I added a super oh my god why am I always sweaty there so if you're in 